for some sports. Peter, over Many to thanks, you. Katie. Where have you been? <laughs> what kind of a question is that? <laughs> thanks a lot. Cameroon grabbed the 10th and final spot to move into Africa's World Cup playoffs when they beat Libya 1-0 in Yaoundé. Defender Aurelien Cheju got the all-important goal that gave the indomitable Lions a place in the final round of the African qualifiers. Cameroon now joins Algeria, Burkina Faso, the Cape Verde Islands, Egypt, Ethiopia, Ghana, Ivory Coast, Nigeria and Senegal in next week's draw for the playoffs set for October and November. The five ties will be played over two legs and will determine which African countries go to Brazil. Well, Cameroon may be on course to extend their African record number of World Cup final appearances to seven, but the euphoria of their victory over Libya was somewhat dampened after striker Samuel Eto'o told some of his teammates he's quitting the national team again. The four-time African player of the year apparently has retired from the national team before, but was convinced to make a U-turn. Well, let's talk more about that story and those World Cup qualifiers. I'm now joined by the BBC Sports Olua Shino Okeleji in our Lagos studios. And uh, Shino, Eto has retired again. Uh, what do you make of this? Do you, have, do you know why? Well, it's unclear why Samuel Eto has decided to quit now. Um, Coach Volker Finker says only the striker can explain why he had decided to take this decision. Um, reports are that he had decided to quit to focus on um, his family, while um, sources are saying that um, he has decided to just, uh, for personal reasons, decided to just call it quit and focus more on his academy. Well, I mean, he's, he has made a U-turn in the past. The World Cup is only two matches away for Cameroon. Do you think it's possible that he might make another U-turn? Well, there will certainly be pressure from Cameroon fans who would want um, their indomitable lion to lead them to another World Cup. And of course, on a personal level, you might consider Samuel to, to, have a, to, to reconsider his decision at age 32 to finally feature in another World Cup. You know, he's played there um, tries already before. So the fourth one will be a good one for him. And what a way to end his international career. Uh, uh, Shino, let's look at the other games at the weekend. Ethiopia, Cape Verde, surprising everybody by making it into the, uh, into the playoffs. What do you make of those two sides? Well, if you look at the groups from the beginning, I mean, from the beginning of the campaign, yes, there are surprises. But then, of course, um, Ethiopia have not really surprised anyone here because um, they were on a very good state when they were campaigning in this, um, in, in this uh, particular week, on, on this weekend. But then, of course, the one that has actually surprised everyone, however, is the fact that Cape Verde went to Tunisia to actually beat them in Tunis. That one is a huge, huge surprise, and a lot of people will be really, really wary of Cape Verde when um, the playoff starts next week, um, uh, when, the, when the playoff starts next month. Shino, we'll leave it there. Thank you very, very much. I did watch those two sides play earlier this year. Fantastic football teams they are. Well, another fallout from the weekend's World Cup qualifiers. The Ghana Football Association says it will report its Zambian counterpart to FIFA over what it says are false claims that its squad was forced to train in a car park. Ghana won 2-1 in the southern city of Kumasi to progress to Africa's decisive 10-team playoffs, eliminating the Zambians from the World Cup uh, contention. Before the game, though, Zambia's Chipolopolo had complained of not being given access to proper training facilities, leaving them with no option but to train in a car park. But the GFA says Zambia, the Zambia squad arrived to train two hours late, by which time the venue was locked. And KD? That's your sport. Did you see my black stars over the weekend? I did. I watched them. They were great. Brilliant. <laughs> Be afraid. <laughs> Thanks very much.